for the concrete pressures as well. So we'll show a scaffold brace. This particular brace is by a company called Reachcraft, and we can supply these as well. That's a strong back, aluminum strong back. That strong back goes up against the wall, gets screwed right into our stud component. Then the same system has a kicker that goes on that strong back, and it's adjustable. You spin that blue kicker and it'll adjust the wall in or out. It gets connected to the, strong, the aluminum strong back with a pin, and it gets staked to the ground or slab on the foot side. And then when you pin it, you're also pinning through an angle bracket that you'll see, and that angle bracket is to hold a plank. So as you put these on the wall, they go, uh, this particular brace, we only need a brace to hold our wall in or out. If your footings are good, we, we should really only require one about every 10 foot. This spacing is determined by what I'm using for planks. Because of course, if I, need this, if I have a 16 foot plank, I need one on each end and one in the middle. So it's gonna get me about a seven foot space with that type system. Because it's also your walk plank for forming. So again, this is a specific for ICF bracing. We have it avail available for rent or purchase. Uh, there are other systems out there as well. This is just the one that we found to be most user friendly for now anyway. And uh, not too heavy. So that's your walk plank bracket. And then your adjustable kicker. And it's good to keep that walk plank about, Jerry, what would you say about mid height of your body? Three inches, table height. That, that tends to give you the best uh, pouring experience. 